everybody, it is me, Life Simmer, and welcome back. Ooh, okay. To Let's Play The Sims 4 Part 53. So I think in this part, what I want to do is actually head out a lot because why not? Turn down for what, right? It's a Friday. Turn down for what? Um, this will include making friends. Oh. Oh. Has completed the chatterbox social whatever. Okay. Um, I don't think we did, but okay, cool. Uh, reach level five in the social skill. Make a BFF. So he's going to go, I guess, talk to Blarfy for a little bit. He's going to call him names, tell him a story, cheer him up, do all that stuff. And Josh is going to go play with his little rhino. And you know what we need to purchase for him, actually? I feel kind of bad that I haven't yet. We are going to purchase him a little kid's toy. <laughs> what is it? Mr. Snuffles. Um... Yeah, he hasn't had a little Mr. Snuffles in a while, and I feel so bad. So, I believe that is Mr. Snuffles. Yeah. Mr. Snuffles. Alright, go ahead and press to talk with him. Forget the other one. Forget the rhino. He goes and puts it in Megan's room. Same, though. She's probably like, really? Alright, Megan, you can go ahead and come home now. Taylor is shown with her mother. And I actually need somebody to repair this. I'm not trying to die. That's the issue here. I don't want to die. This is, you know, electronic, so I'm kind of scared. It's not like we're repairing a toilet. We're repairing an oven now, and it's 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 a tad bit scary. So I'm going to have everybody go jogging that is home and not exhausted. Because why not? It's like you eat a piece of cake in this game, and it's a big deal. Um, Ethan too. Little kids can go exercising. I mean, I usually don't let my little kids, or no, they can't. They can work out on the TV or something. I don't know. But they're all gonna work out. And also, I'm, I, I'm not sure if little kids can work out. Like, you can't, they can't go jogging. <laughs> they, I think the only thing I know that they can do is actually go swimming. But I mean, they're little kids. Whatever. Right? Who cares? So, Megan, actually, you can go ahead and wake up and go jogging as well. So they're all going to go do that. And Drake needs to work on his fitness skill as well. Um, he's going to go practice his punching over here. Yeah, he is going... Let's see, what is he at right now? Level 3. Okay, that's good enough for me. And Josh is doing his thing. Okay, everybody's out jogging. I was going to let's make some dinner. But we have some pancakes. It's only 4 p.m. So actually, I can wait. Oh, when did those go bad? Five hours from now. That's dinner, everyone. That is dinner. Little Ethan's just watching his dad like, these pancakes are fabulous. See Nadine running in the background. Oh, look at them running. <laughs> look at them running around. Okay, and Nadine's done. She's like, that's it. I'm done. Ooh, they look good, too. Very curvilicious. Um, so Nadine actually is going to head out back and take care of the plants. She hasn't planted a lot of her strawberries, so I'm going to have her come water this, plant, plant, and do all of that. Um, I don't know why, but I, <laughs> I told you guys this before, like, I tend to click on every single one just to make sure she plants and waters and weeds every single plant. I don't know, I feel like there's always one left behind <laughs> that she, like, forgets to do or something. So I just tend to click on every single one and fill up her queue. I don't know why, it's just like, see? See? Watch. Plant. Okay, true. Nice toot. Maybe it's different with planting, but I swear, they'll always forget about one. So it really makes me mad. And I'm going to have her water them all really quickly as well. Oh, and is it Nadine's birthday? I believe it is. All right, we're going to have to make her a little cake to celebrate today. But now I want her to go ahead and water all of these. Oh, this, this just blossomed right in front of my eyes. She's going to go ahead and do that. All right, and you know what, Drake, why don't you be a sweetie and come over here and actually serve dinner up for her. Oh my gosh, this this house is a mess. We're going to go ahead and cook up a white cake for our wifey so she can, you know, feel the love for her birthday and it'll be extra special, spe special? It'll be extra special, spe special. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it'll be extra special because he made it, you know. I'm sure she'll really, really appreciate it. So let's go ahead and get some pictures of him over here cooking this for her. He's probably like, I don't know how you do this, but <laughs> I'm going to do it for my wife. 
And, uh, oh, Josh is at work. I didn't even know he left. Huh. Okay, well, whatever. Um, go ahead and clean up for me, Taylor. I would really appreciate it. Can you go ahead and clean that up? Clean out the spoiled food. Put those away as leftovers because this house is a mess right now and it definitely needs to be cleaned up. Uh, Ethan is showering. Okay, good little boy. Good little boy. Oh, and the toilet's broken. We'll replace that. Go ahead and use the toilet and then mop those up. Okay. And your cake is done, girly. Your cake is done. I'm going to have her come on over here and do, do, do. add some birthday candles. No, put the cupcake down. We made a cake. Okay, cool. And she is going to blow out the candles. <laughs> Look at Taylor, like, ruining the moment. Wow, much different. She looks so different, guys. Okay, adulthood, yay! Yay! So we're just gonna go ahead and eat a little bit. Go ahead and take a piece of that and then go use the potty and take a shower. And Drake is going to go take a shower himself. And she needs to go shower too. So she's gonna do all of that. Oh, birthday from birthday party. Birthdays are fun. Heck, any party is a good time. Okay, girl. Party animal. Sorry. Um, disgusting. She just walked in on her dad. Yeah, she's like, yep, literally, that would be everyone's reaction, to be honest. Disgusted. I am disgusted. You better tell her before I hurt her feelings. Girl, I feel so bad for her. She's like, I would say starstruck, but I don't think it applies. <laughs> I don't think it applies in this scenario. So I'm going to have her head upstairs and take a shower up here. Hopefully she can wash wash her eyes a little bit and get that out of there. The, the picture of her dad naked in the shower. Poor thing. I feel so bad for her. So I'm waiting for Josh to get home because I want him to invite over Kiki Loco or Loco Kiko. And actually, Megan needs to wake up really quickly. She needs to come down here and grab... Oh, she's so sad still. She's going to come grab a piece of cake because cake and cake is good and cake is nice and cake is kind and yes. Uh, so she's going to go ahead and grab that and eat. Oh, she's so upset. Just relax. Chill, Megan. I know. It's rough right now. But you'll get over it or you'll, you'll figure out how to... I guess hold in your emotions and um, take one step at a time. <laughs> Puns for days. No, but she will, um, you know, eventually she'll be able to wake up and not be so sad. And I know, she's like, please, girl, please. Uh, but I'm going to have her go ahead and eat her cake and then come over. Okay, who's in there? Oh, it's Nad Nadine. Wake up! Nadine, get, if you're going to sleep in there, get out and go to bed. What are you doing? I'm going to have Megan come up here and take a shower. Maybe give Hank a call. I know it's a little late, but I mean, hopefully he's still down to talk to us. Maybe even he'll come over. I think that'd be... Oh. oh my goodness. Can Hank come over? Hopefully he's down to come over, even though it's really late. And Josh is home. Oh, is he super tired? I'm, I don't think so, no. He's not tired enough. So he's going to, hopefully, Kiko will come over. Loco Kiko will be right over. Coolness. Here she is. We're going to goof around with her. I feel like they'd be, like, a really cute, goofy couple. Like, I don't know. I feel like that'd be super cute. Look at him walking. He's like, hi. <laughs> so we're going to tell her, like, a funny story and just... See, yeah, she likes it. So we're going to joke about chicken butt. <laughs> so funny, so funny. Yeah, we're just going to get to know her a little bit and do all that stuff. And did he want to come over? Yeah, go ahead and call him up. I know it's a little late, but hopefully he'll come over. Oh, Hank is sleeping. Dang, flabbit. Okay, so I guess I'm going to have her just go to sleep. She is pretty tired. But these two, on the other hand, I'm going to have them hopefully... Get a little romantic tonight, you know? We're gonna ask a risque question. Oh no, it's going it's going downhill. Stop it. 
Oh my gosh, it's going downhill. Oh no, 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 no. She's not liking it. She's not liking it. Um, okay, ask her how her day is. Come on, buddy. We gotta work through this. We're gonna share our insecurities. I don't know. We're gonna try to get to know her a little bit. I just want this to go away. Awkward encounter. No. No, we were friends for a second there. Okay, so I guess we will... Oh, she's clumsy. That will work in our advantage. You're so clumsy you fell in love with me. <laughs> uh, we're going to brighten her day a little bit. And um, uh, we will, I guess, tell her how much we like her. I mean, that could be a good step towards making a move, you know? Okay, she's happy. She's happy now. So we're going to keep it. Keep it on the uh, friendly side, huh? And uh, give her a heartfelt compliment and just try to work our way in there. Yeah. Okay, now I'm gonna see if she's single. Oh, she's, she's like just walking into my house like, I run this. Well, girl, marry me and you will. Hmm. So we're gonna do a smooth recovery. Oh, why can't he come in here and do this? Let's go, get inside. Don't think you're getting away with this. Come over here and confess your attraction to her. She's probably not down for it. Wait, 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 before you do it, don't do it, don't do it, don't do it. Do not do it. Do not do it. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and put the romance channel on. Yeah. Yeah. So hopefully this kind of helps, helps that, that little move we're trying to pull. She's like, wow, that's awesome. So we are going to do a bold pickup line since we're feeling rather confident right now. Hopefully she's into it. She's like, oh, that got me right in the heart. Yes, it's working. It's working. <laughs> we're going to try to make a move on her too. Get on over there. Sit down on that couch. Move that arm, boy. Yes. Oh, I'm loving it. She's totally down for it. Yes. Okay, we're going to tickle her. <gasps> what is she saying? Want to see what these space buns can do? Oh my gosh. I love them all. <gasps> Invite to stay the night. <gasps> She's totally down. A sleepover? Sounds great. Oh my goodness. Okay, we're gonna confess our attraction to her. We're getting a little tired, hungry, and we're a little stinky, but we're gonna keep this going because we can. We're gonna look deeply into her eyes as well. Oh, he's like, I'm getting so tired. Okay, actually, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna sexy pose for her. <laughs> sexy pose for her. Um, we'll kiss her hands, and then, how about we have our first kiss with her? Uh-oh, uh-oh. It happened, it happened. I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it. <laughs> um, okay, since that happened, Woohoo and Rocket Ship, oh my gosh. That would really set the mood. I mean, I doubt she'll say yes. Oh, she's totally down. She's like, listen. <laughs> if you got some space rocks in there, she's probably like waving at Bandit in the dining room like, hey, cousin, how are you? Oh my gosh, she's exhausted. But Rocket Woohoo, Josh is down. Josh is very first Woohoo. Why is she putting that on? Like she needs it. She's an alien. Have fun, Josh! Mwah! Love mom! <laughs> Alright, so they're up there woohooing, doing their thing. I cannot believe this! I can't believe Josh is actually getting some. Oh my gosh, break out the candles. Make it romantic. Josh Mana is about to woohoo for the first time. Crazy stuff! Okay, so he's up there doing the nasty, and then our house is disgusting, but hopefully he comes home in time to actually grab something to eat really quickly. I'll have him... Have a quick bowl of cereal, or actually, we'll do yogurt. And then he is going to go to sleep. So, I mean, yeah, Kiko is up there with Josh, and 
They had a great time. But yeah, he's gonna go, no, don't go shower. You are starving and you're exhausted. You can shower in a little bit. Go have some orange juice really quickly and head to bed. Thank you. And now these Sims should be waking up. I think Megan, no, Taylor, Ethan. Oh, they should be waking up soon. Um, it's a Sunday, so they don't have to get up super early, but yeah, I guess he's just going to sleep instead of eating. So, Kiko, feel free to join me. I can't believe it! I can't believe it! I cannot believe it! I need a picture of her in the spacesuit. Just so we know, Kiko is our alien lover. I love it. I love it. Oh, and Drake is awake. Oh, and he's feeling super angry this morning. He's gonna go, I guess... I was going to say we're going to leave the house, but you know what? I think this part... Oh, we need to feed Gretchen. It will be ending soon. Um, But yeah, I would say a pretty productive freaking part. You know, we woohooed and everything. I kind of want to get her pregnant in hopes we can get a green baby. And look, she's cleaning up. She is wifey material. She is wifey material. Wow. Okay, how about we go ahead and serve breakfast for you and your brother? Thank you. Um, so I'm thinking, I definitely want Candace or Jose to come back as a ghost. Did you feed her? No, you didn't. Can Ethan feed her? No, he can't. Um, Megan, can you go ahead and wake up for me and come feed her? No, but, um, I definitely want one of them to come back as a ghost so we can have a ghost in the household. And then I'm thinking maybe Josh can move out with, uh, Kiko and get pregnant or something. I don't know. I think that'd be a lot of fun to kind of uh, play with. Um, and we could like switch between the households maybe. We will see. However, I really love playing with Drake, Nadine, Taylor, and Ethan, and Megan. Um, and I think Megan's story is really, really cool as well considering she's interested in a married man. Okay guys, Hank is married to this like little bombshell and Megan was like, a teenager when she met him and she was kind of like I don't know like never really talked to him all that much and now they're kind of interested in each other it's kind of freaky in a way not freaky but it's kind of like neat uh, how it's working out I don't know I'd like to see that happen so let me know I'm totally oh she's gonna go steal them Franken beans from Nadine <laughs> you thought Nadine you thought look at Nadine looking at herself she's like it's hard being this pretty I'm sure it is Nadine so, no, don't go cry before work. How about you eat something before work? Yes, we definitely need to write write some new books. Um, let me see, what can we write? We can write um, pretty much the same. Oh, fantasy. I want to write a fantasy book. Practice writing, write love email, and excuse notes. Yeah, we definitely want to write some excuse notes soon. But I think I'm going to have her eat... Hurry up, Megan. A lot of you guys are saying that you guys want to um, want Megan to have a makeover, and I'm totally down for a makeover. I think that'd be fun. Who just farted? I'm guessing it was... I'm, I'm just going to take a wild guess it was Taylor. Oh, oh! Look who it is. Look who it is. Oh, you girl, you better run out there. Girl, hold on. You know how creepy that is? Oh my gosh, look. Potential lovers. Potential lovers. Just walking past each other. Okay, so we're going to come out here and ask him to hang out. Um, I was eating breakfast and I saw you from outside the window and I ran out here. Um, hi Hank. See, they're really good friends. So we're going to try to be a little suave with him and hopefully it works. It's a beautiful day out, a beautiful Sunday. Come on. <gasps> Hank, better stop it. Oh, he's totally not into it. Okay, we're gonna ask him for reassurance. <laughs> She's like, please, Hank. Please, I'm so interested in you. We'll try to do a smooth recovery. I'd like to see you. Oh, he's like totally not into it. He's like, listen, you're like my friend's like little sister. Oh, come on, ask him if he's single. He's gonna say no. <laughs> Megan learned that Hank is married to Star. That's not stopping us. Um, smooth recovery one more time. Hopefully, probably not. Oh, okay, yeah, that's that's not happening. I guess we'll go ahead and 
do an inside joke with him. Oh, cool. Our royalties came in, and that's a whopping 1,000 smolians. Okay, so they're like really, really, really good friends. They they understand each other. They love to laugh. And I feel like Hank's totally not interested. And then there's Megan who really likes him. This would be her first romance. And she's like totally interested. And I feel so bad for her. Like she totally wants him. And he's just kind of like content with just being friends and nothing more. And I feel really bad for her. Like I really want them. I really want them to date, but I don't know. I just feel like Hank's kind of putting a guard up. He's already married, and I guess he could say happily married. I don't know. I just really, really think they'd be such a... I guess, how can I put it? Like, don't judge a book by a cover, because Hank looks like this rock-on hard guy, you know? But in reality, he likes his books and stuff like that, and I really like that. So... I don't know. I think it's neat. Oh, but I am going to go ahead and end this part here. Don't forget to give this video a big fat thumbs up and subscribe if you would like to. I love you all so much and I will see you all next time. Bye guys.